From UFOs to ghosts and psychic powers, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now and learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Since prehistoric times, humans have contemplated death and created belief systems to explain what happens in the afterlife. The assumption here is the existence of a soul, that something of a person's consciousness remains after their body is gone. Modern science has found no proof of life after death, but this hasn't bothered the millions of people who report ghostly encounters each year. Some parts of the world treat ghosts as pop culture, Halloween decorations, or tourist attractions. In other cultures, ghosts are revered, feared, and worshipped. But where's the evidence of their existence? According to paranormal investigators, it's all around us. Here's where it gets crazy. Self-professed psychics like Lynn S. LaFroth claim we aren't all capable of seeing ghosts because only living beings with a certain sensitivity can sense their presence. This sensitivity is vaguely defined. Some psychics believe it is inherited, or a side effect of near-death experiences, or based on a close bond with someone else who has died. Skeptics say there is no internal difference that makes a person able to receive messages from beyond the grave. Instead, the causes of these alleged ghost sightings are mundane, electromagnetic fluctuations, for example, or hallucinations. But people who believe they have seen a ghost can be adamant. Some investigators argue that the lack of proof may be the fault of our technological limitations. Is it possible that what people perceive as ghosts are made up of energy that is undetectable to our machines? Studies by quantum physicists have proven that we still don't fully understand the interaction of the human mind and external matter at the quantum level. Yet, it's an enormous leap to believe in ghostly hitchhikers and dead, jilted lovers just because we aren't sure how consciousness works. This uncertainty has not stopped others from trying to explain ghosts through quantum physics. For instance, paranormal investigators such as Joan Foreman hypothesize the beings that we think of as ghosts may not be deceased at all, but actually individuals from some other point in time. In this theory, the idea is that due to some anomaly, people are momentarily able to perceive objects from the past or the future as though they exist in the present. Anecdotes of this sort abound throughout historical literature, but according to skeptics, that's the problem. The evidence is all anecdotal. There is no scientific proof of particular ghost encounters, and there's no proof that ghosts exist in the first place. Not only is there no place in the world that consistently gives every observer a ghostly experience, but no psychic has conclusively proven his or her powers to the scientific community. If ghosts are real, and have been around since prehistory, why are we still unable to prove they exist? And, if they don't exist, why is the belief in ghosts so widespread, even in this modern age? If the skeptics are correct, then ghosts are nothing but a case of repeated mistaken identity. If the believers are correct, then we may be on the edge of a new era in scientific inquiry. Meanwhile, the ghosts, if they do exist, haven't said anything about the debate. Perhaps there's something they don't want you to know. <laughs>